My name is Dr. Jeffrey Davies and I'm going to talk today about the problems with flat feet. Now before I can talk about the problems that flat feet cause, I first need to talk a little bit about normal foot motion. Now with the normal foot, people usually land on the uh, outside of their heel. And if you look at the bottom of your shoe, a lot of times you'll notice that the outer part of the heel gets worn down uh, more than the inner part. And this is the normal way people usually land on their heel. But then as you go further along in the step, as you start to load this midfoot portion, what happens then is the foot pronates. Now pronation is the motion of the flattening out of the arch, of the turning of the foot towards the floor. This is a very important motion. Pronation allows all of these bones here in the, in the midfoot to unlock. And what that does is allows the foot to then adapt to any surface that you happen to be walking on. If you're walking uphill, walking downhill, you're walking on the beach, on a rocky surface, when, this, when the pronation allows all these bones to unlock, the foot becomes what is known as like a bag of bones and allows the foot to adapt to any surface that it happens to be on. It's also important because the pronation allows the foot to act as a shock absorber. The flattening out of the arch, you've got the uh, plantar fascia ligament here, it acts kind of like a spring and a shock absorber. Very important motion. So as you go further along in the step, the foot has the opposite motion known as supination. Supination is the turning away of the bottom of the foot away from the floor. And what supination does is then relocks all of these bones here in the midfoot. And that then allows the foot to act as a firm and efficient lever arm and it, as you propel your body along through the step. So supination is a very, very important part of this step. 